Hi, I'm Ria, and these are the six, seven, eight, nine. <sighs> Hi, I'm Ria, and these are the fifteen things I can all about. I have divided this list into four different categories, and if you're specifically interested in any one of those, then I'm just gonna label them at the bottom of the video and you can scroll through. The first category to start with is fitness. I first started working out when I was in grade 9 but that was also not very seriously and when I was in grade 12 COVID started I was stuck at home and I first started doing Chloe Ting. I did Chloe Ting for about 3-4 months and then I got so sick of doing hit workouts and then somehow I stumbled upon this girl called Chrissy Chala on Instagram and since then she has absolutely changed my life first i used to just look at the workouts that she posted on instagram and i used to follow those and then i found out that she has an app and then i downloaded the app and i've been a subscriber since 2020 and that app has been absolutely life-changing for me i follow that for all of my workouts she keeps having new programs it's not just strength training focus i do strength training and chrissy chala as a trainer focuses on strength training there's also four other trainers that are on board with her they just have a whole lot of different workouts if you're interested i would 100 percent recommend that app to anyone else I still subscribe to it. I pay around $35 for three months and it's so, so worth the money. The second one is protein powder. <clears throat> This is the protein powder that I use. I like to spend my money on clothes. So when it comes to everything else, I like to cheap out as much as possible. And that goes the same for a protein powder. So when I'm buying myself a protein powder, I look into how many grams of protein it has. And I just read the reviews to see, you know, if it's causing people any stomach problems or blah, blah, blah. If you're busy, this makes your life so much easier. And it also makes consuming protein so much easier. And you can make so many recipes from them. Oats, pancakes, french toast, smoothie bowls, cookie dough. Just anything. If anyone's interested, I can list so many food Instagram accounts that post like low calorie, high protein meals. And of course, I spend on a gym membership, but then not everyone has to. You can also work out at home. The second category is lifestyle. I recently became a very big coffee fan, and one of my friends got a coffee machine. And since then, I've been obsessed with the idea of getting a coffee machine. I cannot resist not getting a coffee machine. And but at the same time, I don't really want to spend so much money on a coffee machine. So I bought myself. A mocha pot. In this mocha pot, all you have to do is put ground coffee and water and you put it on your stove and within like 3-4 minutes, you get yourself a freshly brewed espresso shot. <laughs> the second thing is an electric blanket. When I'm in the US, all the buildings are heated so I never feel cold when I'm inside my house. But in India, I feel really really cold, especially at night. I hate the idea of first of all getting into a cold bed and second of all, I just hate wearing layers to bed. All I want to do is wear my t-shirt, wear my shorts, and go to bed. So I invested in an electric blanket. It's safe, first of all. I've been using it for like four years now. It basically goes under my bed sheet, and I turn it on five, ten minutes before I go to bed. And when I get into bed, I get into a perfectly warm, snug, comfortable bed in my shorts and my t-shirt. The third thing on this list is argan oil of Morocco penetrating oil all hair types i suffer with really dry and frizzy hair and i've tried so many different serums but nothing used to work for my hair first i tried this in a spray form it helped a little bit but not too much and because my hair is thick i was like might as well try this oil because it's going to be thicker and it has made my hair quality so much better I also gave it to my mom and she really likes it if you're looking for a hair serum i would definitely recommend at least trying this and see if it works for you if you're a creative major especially a fashion design major Getting an iPad is absolutely life-changing. When I first joined FIT, I had to draw on paper, color on paper, and because if you mess up when you're filling in color, you're going to have to redo all of it. Just the fear of having to redo everything, I just couldn't experiment as much as I wanted to because I don't want to make a mistake and do everything again. And then later, I considered getting an iPad so I can do my drawings digitally, and it has completely changed my life. First of all, it comes so in handy. I don't have to carry a big book everywhere. I don't have to carry markers everywhere. All I need is my iPad and a pencil, Apple pencil, and I can draw wherever I want, in my bed, on the train, literally wherever, and it's so convenient. And the drawings look really good. I like how my drawings look better on an iPad compared to when I'm drawing on paper, just because I can experiment so much. There's so many different textures you can do on this. Getting an iPad for my major was a very good investment. The next one is a lamp. I don't have the lamp in here. I actually bought it for my room in New York. A room should feel like your space. Every night when it gets a little dark, I generally look forward to turning my lights off and just having that lamp on because it makes my room feel so cozy and I just love it. I love working in my room with only that lamp. It just changes the whole vibe and I love it. It's such a good investment. And it's also not expensive. I got the lamp for like $30 and it's so nice. The last one in my lifestyle category is this bag. 
there's nothing special about this bag i thrifted it for like 15 dollars but then the amount of things that this has and the amount of things that it can fit i'll explain why this first zipper, I always have my apartment keys and eye drops because I wear contacts and my eyes get dry really fast. The second zipper, I have my FNT ID card, I have my Metro card, and when I travel, I also carry this bag, so I have my passport in it for now, but I usually don't keep my passport in. And what is this? Oh, this is Grams medicine. In this zip, I have gum, of course. I have my gloves. I usually keep my phone charger and the chapstick. Let it go. This one usually has a protein bar and more gum i guess i see so much gum in here the middle zip also always has my wallet oh great. for the next list this is going to be a food list i am a very very big foodie so i can keep going and going and going about this list but i decided to cut it down and mention only the things that i genuinely cannot live without the first one is bulldog sauce if you've never heard of bulldog sauce it's this korean spicy sauce i eat it with everything i eat it with dumplings eggs chicken the sauce is so spicy and strong that if you get some food from outside you don't like how it tastes you can literally mix the bulldog sauce and that food and that food will taste good it's mind-blowing the next one are protein bars a lot of times at fit i have to stay in school for like 10 hours and like one meal isn't enough to keep me full so i usually carry a lunch for myself and along with that i also always have a protein bar in my bag so when i go grocery shopping i buy myself five protein bars one for each day monday to friday i don't think i need to mention this but my list feels very unfair if i don't mention it so i just have to mention it the last thing on my food list is gum i wouldn't really recommend anyone to eat gum but i am genuinely addicted to gum i have gum in my bag i'm stocked up on gum in my house i eat gum all the time just not by now because i have to speak so much yeah my list just felt unfair if i didn't mention gum the last category are clothes there's so many clothes that i really like but i don't really want to mention all those clothes on this list because first of all the video would be so long and on top of that there are clothes that i can live without it's not like if i lose them i'm not going to be able to live without them so i just cut my list down to a few clothes that i wear so much and if I lose them, I'll probably buy the same thing again. The first one are these baggy jeans from Uniqlo. These are the most comfortable jeans I have purchased in my entire life. I will link them down in the description. The fitting is so nice. They're available in so many different colors. My go-to for so many different occasions when I want to be comfortable. They also look good. It's not just comfort. These jeans generally look really good. I'll put a couple of photos of me wearing these jeans so you can see what i'm talking about the second one are heat techs uniqlo offers so many different heat techs they have a thinner heat tech then they have a heat tech plus i think they also have a heat tech plus plus but i'm not sure they sell top heat techs as well as bottom heat techs and i actually own both of those for bottoms i just own one because i only wear them when it's snowing but for the top ones i'm actually wearing one right now i don't like to stuff myself with like six layers when i'm wearing a heat tech and when i'm not wearing a heat tech the difference is huge especially for a person who feels very cold this heat tech is very much recommended the next one are long white socks it's the small details that really add to the whole look of your outfit and if you're wearing long pants or like long jeans no one needs to see this much of your ankle. It just looks disgusting. In my opinion, I hate how that looks. Ankle socks do look good with some outfits. They look better than long white socks. But then I feel like long white socks are truly something everyone should have because more than half your outfits will look so much better if you wear long white socks. And I also think that they can make shoes look so much better. Like there's so many shoes that I've worn with ankle socks before, but then they just look so much better when I wear them with long white socks. <sighs> so yeah, long white socks. The next one, I'm also wearing that right now, so I'm not sure. Gray sweatpants. This is a personal bias. I would wear gray sweatpants over black sweatpants when I'm at home just because they just make me feel cozy. For me, gray is the color of being at home and being cozy and comfortable. So a gray pair of sweatpants are my go-to. Just a very um, short detail about myself. I personally feel that when you're at home, you should still look good and you should still look presentable. You can be comfortable. Being comfortable and looking homeless are two different things if i don't feel good in what i'm wearing i feel lazy and if i look homeless at home it only goes downhill from there i also have a go-to hoodie it's just a green hoodie i bought from zara for me personally adding color to my outfits makes me feel happier this is a very short list but these are the things that i genuinely love and i don't think i can live without and i'll probably buy all of these things again and again if i lose them or if they get ruined other than that thank you for watching i will see you next week bye